What's going on everybody? I'm bringing you guys another gameplay. I told you guys every day this month to start off the new year I'll be bringing a video every single day. So today is January 3rd. This will be the third video of the year so far. So if you missed the last two videos check out the channel. I uploaded two on January 1st and January 2nd. So in this gameplay I'm going up against the New York Knicks. He is the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. At the moment of this game, we played it earlier today. He was 7 and 0, oh, undefeated. And I apologize if my voice is a little bit different than usual. It's just that I have a, a little, what do you call it? A little sore, soreness in the throat. But like I said, I'm going to bring you guys the videos. Serge Ibaka gets a free layup right here. I don't know how CJ McCollum ends up guarding him. This whole game, no matter what I did on defense, I adjusted my matchups. CJ would always end up on Ibaka, and it was kind of frustrating. And at some point, I didn't even have to play CJ anymore because I think it was glitched. I'm not sure what was going on. Kawhi Leonard misses a wide open shot. These are Saj who got a hit to win games because. These matchups most of the time are very very close and a few shots can make the difference. So the reason I'm posting these games even though the highlights are not too great is because it's early in the season. I want to showcase how hard it is to master your team in an online league. To start off the season, you're not going to be too familiar with the players, with the plays, um, the chemistry. There's a lot of things that you have to figure out. So that's why you play multiple games, you play 10, 20, 30, and then you eventually figure out what to do on offense, which players are good at their positions, how to use them. So for example, some players, they are better at the 4 than at the 3. So for example, I'm more effective with Igudala at the 4 than when I play him at the 3 because he is a stretch 4 for my team. So these are things I've been testing out. You could switch players, you could slide them down one position to see if it fits your playstyle, fits the plays that you're running. So like I said, these are things you figure out while playing games. A lot of people don't want to go through the learning process of a season. A lot of people think that the online league is like quick ranked. You just come in, you destroy everybody, and that's it. That's all. You win the title. But it's not like that. Because in an online league, a lot of these players are actually good at the game. They know how to do defensive matchups, defensive settings. So you actually have to work to score the basketball but sometimes you can get easy buckets of course you know like like in real life you get easy buckets but a lot of times when the game slows down in a half court setting you have to learn and know how to execute if not it's gonna be a long season you gotta learn from your mistakes so for example a lot of my videos I post when I lose because I want to show you guys that losing is part of the learning process. A lot of people in the league, once they lose a couple of games to start the season, they end up quitting on their team, they don't want to play anymore, they leave the league, and it's unfortunate because they spent about three hours drafting their squad, and then they end up quitting after one or two games. <laughs> That's not how it works in an online league, especially since it's on Hall of Fame and the quarters are really long. It's seven minutes, so there's a lot of execution that has to be done. So that's what I'm trying to imply with this video and the previous video that I uploaded yesterday where I took an L. Because like I said, I'll repeat it again. L's, oof, Zion, man. <laughs> Zion is just too OP in this game. So L's losing is part of the learning curve. Just like in real life, guys. A lot of NBA teams, they start off the season really, really slow and then they pick it up mid-season and towards the playoffs, they are sometimes on a winning streak or they just caught their groove. They know their roles. For example, the Boston Celtics last year. Before January, 
they were an okay team, but after January, the coach made some changes and the Celtics were one of the best teams heading into the playoffs. Bad shot by Kawhi Leonard right here. He played great defense. And in this third quarter, my opponent goes on a big, big run and he ends up taking a big lead in the third. So sorry if I'm not talking too much about the gameplay. It's pretty self-explanatory. Kawhi Leonard, another wide open shot and I miss. And he ends up making the three with Zion. It's a make and miss league. So like I wanted to say, or what I was talking about, sorry, before I spoke about the gameplay, is that losing is part of the process. Um, early season struggles is part of the process. Sure, you won't score a ton of points in the start of the season. Like I said, there's a lot of adjustments you can make with your team throughout the season. You could make lineups, changes. You could make some trades. You could run different plays. There's so many different things you could do, but you only learn as you play games. And another thing that you really have to learn is the shooting. So a lot of sh uh, the shots with your players that you have to hit, you have to keep playing games. It's rinse and repeat. You won't learn them right away. <laughs> So like I said, take your time, play a lot of games, and eventually you'll learn and get better. Just like in real life, teams start off slow and they get better throughout the year. So the gameplay is winding down. Chris Paul is trying to carry this team. It's been an offensive struggle because I've been missing a lot of the shots that are pretty makeable. So if one or two threes went down, it would have been a different outcome. You never know what could happen. So this is still early in the season. So I really don't mind the struggles in the beginning. Because every year it's always like this. The first 10-15 games you're still figuring things out. I don't expect to beat people by 30 points right away. And Nick Nurse has a funny reaction right there. <laughs> Nick Nurse always has the best reactions. So this game is winding down. I finish it off with a nice spin move into a crossover, into a three-point shot. So this was a great game, a learning experience. If you guys enjoyed it, 